Thomas Brennan III, Sales Marketing Lesson Number Two. This is about toning down your ego when you're going in to make a sales pitch. It, uh, so we'll call it uh, Let Go Your Ego. And so, let go both your egos, maybe. And so, um, when you walk in to address a men, a group of men, first of all, let's talk. You walk in, if it's a group of men, you find, look real and make a quick assessment to make eye contact with the one that you think is the most fucking important and then fucking give yourself a bit of a nod there to acknowledge that he's the fucking man in the room. I mean, if he's the fucking pulling the trigger one or whatever, don't look at his bitch even. I mean, you know, every one of them, you know, all of us top guys got bitches in the office, man, even though they're men, they're bitches. So fucking, they get territorial too. They'll start fucking fighting over you, just straight boys. It's the fucking sickest thing you ever saw in your fucking life. But that being aside, so you address the man in the room. You gotta fucking do that everywhere you go. You address the man in the room. It doesn't fucking matter if you were invited or not. Address the man in the room. You now he could be all the way across the fucking side of the motherfucking room. The second you notice that's fucking the man in the room, you better fucking look at him and fucking let him know that you're fucking there too. Hey. You know, fucking, when you're younger, you'd see the waves, you'd be jumping up and down in the fucking air thinking, that, well, I got this one. <laughs> that nigga saw me, I'm sure. He saw you acting a fucking fool, man. You gotta get, you gotta be coy as fuck. You gotta be eagle eye locked on, like way locked on. You start trying to wave to like, try to make it look like you're nonchalantly not trying to really get fucking attention to yourself somehow. You know, you know, um, but you have to have a reason for it. And you can't be the one that looks like he's got a fucking arm stuck in the air either. I mean, fucking whatever you got to do, but throw your power that way, you know, just throw it out. Like, look at it, but become fierce and forceful about it. It's like, let that inner fucking anger, all that bullshit that you fucking hate, you know, just like, boom, well, uh, fuck yeah. Put your fucking body armor on, man. And you walk up, and boom, you see him full armor out like fucking one of them Terminator motherfucking things. But, you know, it's just a little fucking flash of the cards is all it is, you know? I mean, but you got to make the man know that that's... that you fucking know that that's who that is, too. This helps you grow as a man as well. And so then... But if it's a one-on-one, -on -one, act a bitch. They ain't nobody gonna fucking see it, man. And so I was joking with one of the salesmen once. <laughs> he said, well, I don't think I can close the deal, Thomas. I said, well, <laughs> looks like you're going to have to take one for the team and suck some dick. <laughs> He's like, man, don't talk like that. I said, just put a bow. I said, just put a bow in your hair and you'll feel it if it has a like effect. <laughs> so anyways, that was quite delightful for us anyways. We always had a big, a big gas trying to give each other advice, but fuck. So... But, you know, just be a little shy and a little, you know, whatever it is, you know, I mean, we all respond to being flirted with a little bit, you know, and it isn't really fucking kissing up, man. I mean, it's just about being extra polite because you need something. And so, you know, you should really do it with grace and a little bit of feminine fucking, you know, just pay attention to the fact that you don't need to fucking be all, you know, insistent. I mean, once you're eye to eye, you can make the deal. If you walk away without a, making a deal on a eye to eye, man, then, you know, you need to go back to home and go to bed and start over tomorrow because that's some fucked up shit. I mean, you never walked in there without walking out with what you walked in there for. What the fuck would you even go there for? Man. Peace. Next. Number three. We'll see where we will be from here. Timbuktu, Tom Manning out. To you, love. Peace.